Space Chick Crypto. My name is Elizabeth Howard, and today we're going to talk about the government report that just came out and how it is affecting the Vault Enu chart along with the market, Bitcoin and Ethereum. So we're going to check that out. But don't forget to stay tuned till the end of this video, and don't forget to check out all the important links in the description box below for myself and for Vault Enu. All right, so let's go. With demand for workers substantially exceeding the supply of available workers. The labor force participation rate showed a welcome uptick in August, but has little changed since the beginning of the year. Price pressures remain evident across a broad range of goods and services. Although gasoline prices have turned down in recent months, they remain well above year earlier levels, in part reflecting Russia's war against Ukraine, which has boosted prices for energy and food and has created additional upward pressure on inflation. The median projection in the SEP for total PCE inflation is 5.4% this year and falls to 2.8% next year, 2.3% in 2024, and 2% 2 in 2025. Participants continue to see risks to inflation as weighted to the upside. Despite elevated inflation, longer-term inflation expectations appear to remain well anchored, as reflected in a broad range of surveys of households businesses and forecasters, as well as measures from financial markets. But that is not grounds for complacency. The longer the current bout of, bout of high inflation continues, the greater the chance that expectations of higher inflation will become entrenched. The Fed's monetary policy actions are guided by our mandate to promote maximum employment and stable prices for the American people. My colleagues and I are acutely aware that high inflation imposes significant hardship as it erodes purchasing power, especially for those least able to meet the higher costs of essentials like food, housing, and transportation. Okay, now that you got your fill of that, we're going to switch gears and I'm going to take you to a live stream that happened the other night whenever I was on there with Pablo Crow and Power Right. He educated us on this article from Bank of America. This is actually the, the fourth bank that I've seen, you know, talk about this. The fourth bank. And it's so much more bullish because, look, think about it like this from a, from a bank perspective, right? You're a bank, right? Before Ethereum did the merge, let's okay. say if you adapted Ethereum in your banking system, and Ethereum gas fees were high, like three to five hundred dollars per transaction. That's expensive to send money for a bank, you know, five hundred dollars, three hundred dollars. So of course the banks are like, hell no, man. We can do wire transfer for cheaper than that. Okay. Now think about this. Now you can do a transfer for like less than a freaking dollar. Like I did one for twelve cents today. You know what I mean? And even if it goes up in value with the bull run, it's only going to be like $10, $20 per transaction. You get what I'm saying? So now the banks are like 10 bucks all day. Let's go. Sending $100,000 to East Africa. $100,000 to Asia. No problem. Instantly. Quick. That's why it's bullish. See, and Bitcoin doesn't offer that type of service. Now, it's no secret what banks are trying to do, right? They're trying to dip in on the crypto space. JP Morgan's even trying to do it. So we are very aware of banks trying to get a piece of the action. Of course, they want a piece of the action, right? But you know what? We need to remember and keep in mind that you only buy cryptocurrency as an investment after you pay your bills, after you stock your shelves in your pantry and you're set and ready to go. I have talked to too many people that have lost either their vehicle or their apartment, their house, because they invested in cryptocurrency with the hopes of getting rich and getting rich quick. That is the worst thing you can do. So do not invest in cryptocurrency if you cannot afford to invest in cryptocurrency. Whenever the bull market takes off, yes, it's going to take off and it's going to take off really, really nice, really, really fast, and no one's gonna see it coming. With all that in mind, let's check the chart. Everything is going right as planned. This is the chart right here. We're at seven, eight right now, but we are up in the past 24 hours, regardless of the report that came out. We are up 4.94%. We have 14.5K holders, and our market cap is 52 million. 
that's really good for the bear market. That's like really, really good for the bear market and a meme token at that. So here we go. We are going right as planned. This was our healthy retracement. This down here, that was the Ethereum merge. That that was the market in general. Then today, it's going to be a shaky day the rest of the day. Of course it is. It's going to be like that. And who knows the psychology of people. It might be shaky the rest of the week. Remember, crypto is more than just a chart. It's a mind game. Look what happened today with a report being read to people. It changed people's minds. It made people feel a certain way. And then that behavior started affecting the chart. So we can play with charts all day. I love charts. I love looking at them. I like nerding out on a chart any day. But with that being said, nobody really knows. And I am not a financial advisor, but I do feel that our next line of resistance is, of course, five zeros and one. And then our next line of resistance, I think, I believe we can get up to five zeros, one, three. I do. And then our next line of resistance, I feel like it's going to be, of course, one, five, because it's psychologically, it's going to be at one, five mark. And then beyond from there, we can't, we can't figure out anything past this area. We just can't. There's no way we can figure that out right now. Not until SmartCon happens, not until um, Volte Change is released. This tier one on Bittrex was really, really good. Let's go check out the stats on that exchange right now. Bitcoin, Grandpa at 18.5 and Ethereum at 12.57. Woo! Yeah, that dropped. It dropped. Is it going to go down any further? Probably. It looks like it. It looks like it is going to go down. It feels like it's going to go down with all the energy is out there and the media and all the telegrams and everything. People are selling and people like me are just buying their bags. And I love Ethereum, so I'm okay with it. Some people have speculated that Ethereum will go down to 700, 500. I'm okay with that. Look at Ethereum going down, right? And then you have Vault Inu holding the damn floor like crazy. This is actually a very good comparison to show y'all that the chart is being affected a little because of Ethereum. The chart's not being affected because of anything else. I mean, we have our normal day of green and a little bit of red. Vault Inu is still looking good, still looking healthy to me. This right here, there's gate.io, MEXC. I'm affiliate with MEXC. Go check out the link in the description box below. They are going to be extending to America that's all I can say right now, but yeah, they're definitely going to be hitting up America really, really soon. But here's Bitrix. Look at that. 24 hour volume. That is a lot of money for everything that's going on right now in the market and how it's been in the market. This is a very big number. So what does this mean for Vault Inu with all these tier ones? Well, we were promised seven tier one exchanges and Voltoshi has been delivering on this every step of the way. Everything he says he's going to do, he does it and he does more. Look at all the exchanges we're getting on. Don't forget how many holders we have in such a short amount of time. We have 14.5k holders of this token. Market cap 51.76 million. That is a lot of money. Keep in mind, please do not buy it just because it's cheap and don't spend your rent money. All right, y'all. Thank you so very much for watching. Please check out a word from today's sponsor. I will tell y'all, this thing is really, really badass and it kind of creeps me out showing me all these things that it's blocking and all the trackers. It's weird. Like, I have it recorded. And I plan on showing y'all that very soon. So don't forget to hit that bell. And don't forget to hit like and subscribe and share this video. All right, y'all. Be safe out there. Bye-bye. Deeper Network, a project's aim that is to make a fairer and uncensored internet for all. A project where you can contribute to and operate the network. 
By running a node, you support the network and earn income via bandwidth sharing. Due to sharing bandwidth, you can also use the network as a decentralized VPN. No need to pay for centralized service providers. Your data, your network.